All right, we're very hungry. We're very exhausted. It is 10 o'clock at night in game, not in real life. Never, we're never will I be starting a day that late. That'd be a problem for me because uh, this game does not go quickly. Uh, that's the that's the hunger situation. My health's pretty low too, which is not low enough to show up. They really should show health as being low sooner in the top right corner just because health is so fragile. <laughs> it is depleted so quickly that I'm a little surprised constantly by how they almost are coy with it. Like, oh, it's just you lose a little bit of health? Is this, is this so bad? Probably the toughest thing about the Harris Specs campaign is the fact that I have all these resources for crafting weird potion stuff. And none of those resources help me craft, uh... Healing. <laughs> it's all plague related, but none of it helps my health go up. And that's rough. Because that's exactly what I want. <laughs> At all times, I desperately want stuff that'll make my health get fixed. Yeah, definitely have a system. Three Meridorms, four hours, pretty much deals with things. The day is over. Your timely efforts allowed your supporters to remain unharmed. A new mime performance is being rehearsed at the theater. At the theater. Double check my other. Yeah, I've got my organs at the moment. And stuff. Just gonna go on another killing spree, like you do. My knives are not amazing right now. Wait, was that one better? That one's better. The next day, it is currently 2 o'clock in the morning. I have five hours to frolic. Frolic like a madman. Uh, first objective, like usual, is to... Excuse me. Uh, there we go. Uh, first objective is to, like always, is to go to the theater. But also, I might want to go by grief to get some ammo. Oh, I have 19 rifle rounds. Never mind, I'm pretty good. Might be worth considering anyway. Uh, does anyone else sell ammo in the entire game? I can't remember anyone else selling ammo because they're all like, I am the merchant who sells meat. I am the merchant who sells bread. I am the merchant who sells, uh, clothing and medicine. I don't remember being able to buy dr uh, I almost said drugs. I don't remember being able to buy, uh, ammo from anyone besides grief. So I guess I'll consider him. Because I might want to have more ammo. Things are going to get more chaotic as we go on. I should be ready for that. Is this a plague district right now? I think, yeah, we changed color to a plague color. Gotta be careful about the distinction between plague areas and riot areas. Because the same, I think the same, oop, yep, there it is. I think the same signs stay up. Those things stay up regardless. I think I think they're still up when the when the area is now. Uh, let's see the, it's the other side, isn't it? I think when it's a riot area, it still has the same signs up. Could be wrong, but I think they stay up to mark that it's a bad place, just for different reasons. Haven't talked to you nearly as much as I thought I would. Grief. A fool's tongue is long enough to cut his own throat. My expectations have been totally defied to some extent. At the beginning of this campaign, I was very ready for a full campaign where all you do is interact with the kids and the criminal element constantly. It would explain why, my, like, it's a reputation, a, a low reputation campaign. It would explain why uh, the Harrispex was so absent during most of the, bar the Bachelor campaign. And yet, it turned out that the majority of the days I've spent so far have been me with the Bachelor, despite everything. And I have not been having daily visits to bad grief like I expected been a little bit of a weird campaign. We're already on day eight out of 12. That's crazy to me. This ca this campaign feels like it's going way too fast, which is a mixture, right? It's it's uh, it's what happens when I play New Game Plus of a Dark Souls game after I've just played beaten it the first time. It's like, on one hand, I am going faster, but on the other hand, uh, familiarity tends to make things move like, tend like the, to, they, they, they feel like they're going faster. It's part of the thing that happens when you play like a, a Diablo type game or a World of Warcraft like all the time is that it can just suck your time away and the more familiar you get with it it feels like the time keeps moving faster somehow. We don't even have dialogue for this guy. How much do you charge for bullets? They don't come cheap. They don't come cheap but I could trade some drugs for bullets and then go get some more drugs. That whole dichotomy. I do kind of want to buy a bunch of bullets. Let's see if I can trade some drugs. These ones suck. They're not worth that much to sell either, but they, they do suck. 
I'm surprised I don't have more of the yellows. Oh, I don't have more yellows because I got rid of 50 of them. That whole thing that happened. Uh, I shouldn't do that. Buying 19 bullets is only 5,000? That's not that bad, actually. Not as bad as I thought it could be. I'm gonna do that. I just backed out of selling my- oh, I could sell a knife to him. I can sell knives to the other- to the other guys, though, too. Yeah. I'm buying ammo from him because I don't know anyone else to buy ammo from. But I- I stopped myself from selling to him just now because I remembered- oh, yeah. I, uh... I, uh, hehe. <laughs> He has the worst prices in the game, is my understanding. You don't want to do that. Can you go in the houses around here? I don't know. It's a plague area. This is not a... This is not a riot area. I think my go-to, and part of the reason why I was getting all that ammo, is I want to go to a riot area and just start counter-rioting, basically, is my idea. More or less. I just saved. I'm going to load my save from a second ago. I made a crucial mistake in my plan, but we're not save scumming in that we're not we're not currently rewinding time to go back in time. I'm going to load my save I just made, but I want to take a look at something. I really should just move this game to an SSD. There we go. I wanted to review where the plague districts were. Oh shit, they're far away. So the answer is the entire northern wall and the theater are the plague districts. Okay, good to know. My plan is to go to said districts and, you know, go into people's houses and fight all the rioters and shoot them in the chest with my mega gun over and over again. It's worked for me so far with the rioters. It seems just like a better use of my time. For the first few days, I would wander randomly through the streets and just hope I would encounter thugs to fight because that's how you profit. Uh, but RNG thugs are kind of a hard find. This looks like it's also a plague district right now. Yep. A little early on that first one. I, ah! Hate you. Ah, I'm still not infected. Oh my god, if I could just maintain not being infected for a very long time, that'd be great. Oh, these are such great ones. 64% and negative 2. I'm gonna make so many of these. <laughs> like, ultimately, that's just so good. How many do I have right now again? Like, a lot? 12. That'll last me a while. I'm just gonna take one of those times, one of those every time uh, an angel sneaks up on me or, or that happens. And see if I can maintain not being infected. Because that was like not an option for The Bachelor unless I wanted to constantly harm myself with the really dangerous drugs. But the Hara Specs, he's powerful. He can make some of the stuff so much. And I, and I need to use this stuff. I need to use these consumables like rather liberally. Uh, otherwise they're just gonna not... I'm just gonna not use them by the end of the game. Isn't 240 what the other guy was offering? Uh, it might have been a little worse. These were 70, now they're 80. Because people have said that Bad Grief has the worst prices, both for buying and selling. Uh, and that seems to be the case. Although not as drastic as I thought with the selling part. Yeah, I'll sell the crappy knife. I don't- I stick to two of them, generally. Uh, and these are... Immunity tablets. I don't need those. Let's just sell all of them. There we go. I'll sell immunity tablets. The stuff that kills the plague is a little more useful to me. I'm not making that much corpse gruel right now. But, uh, yeah, immunity tablets, who cares? I have the best immunity tablet of them all. It gives me 64% uh, recovery and only hurts me by 2%, whereas these are all worse. They're all much worse. My goal is to buy every bandage or tourniquet I can ever find. Or mainly bandages. I might, buy, I might start buying tourniquets just to... You know, make value for my money, I suppose. And yeah, these guys don't even- they, These guys don't know what- what good quality is. This stuff's so good and they don't value it at all. You'd think I'd be making a fortune on that stuff, but... No. <laughs> Not at all. It's weird. I have 38 bullets. How's my gun doing? That's the wrong one. 100% durability. I already repaired it at some point, apparently. The water's already full. I am just doing a once over my inventory a little bit. Alright, so I'm about to make... So I, I spent like five grand on bullets, I'm about to make about seven grand. So... It's a net gain overall. Cool. Got a little bit more money than I started with. And I've got a bunch of bullets. 
Now I'm gonna go farm a ton of organs. Hopefully. By trying to by just checking as many doors as I can in what are what should now be riot districts. Oh boy. Roar, roar, roar. Be yeah, not fair citizen. I'll be in assistance. He's he already took care of it. Uh, you cool your jets, brownness. I don't like your brown. I do wish you could hotkey your weapons. I could be wrong, but as far as I can tell, you can't do that. So like, you have to open your inventory really awkwardly and search for the weapon you want to use, basically. I think I'm uninterested in infected organs. Is that a infected person? Yeah. I'm not interested in infected organs anymore. Uh, the curiosity's been sated. They don't really do anything for me. As far as I can tell. In fact, the, t the times in this game... Whoa, little hitch. The times in this game where they have asked me to use infected organs are moments of the game where uh, I have to use a predetermined uh, infected organ that I got for story reasons, which is different. Making the infected organs extra pointless most of the time. No, you're killing the... Oh, well, we got him. We're off to a good start here. Oh, another corpse. An arsonist? Can't tell if he's chasing me right now. I don't think he's chasing me. You gonna throw something at me, buddy? No, no, no. Huh. Good job. Also, sorry, I almost murdered you, <laughs> but you kind of encroached on my personal space. You should be more respectful of not walking in front of knives. Especially the ones that aren't even pointing at you. God, they're so expensive. Like, if I bought all of these, that's like 10 grand. Yeah. It's not even the one I want. Why don't you have bandages? Why do you have 11 tourniquets and zero bandages? Like, why? what is this discrepancy with you guys? Might still be worth it, just because I'm always lacking healing items. I just hate the idea. I'll do it this once. We'll see if I regret it horribly. I just, why don't you guys ever have bandages? They're so much better. And what about the local situation? Now, you'd think that with all the disease stuff, that maybe amputations might be a thing coming from here and there, and tourniquets might be important. But no. Apparently nobody wants tourniquets because nobody's buying them. And everybody wants them bandages. I have... I have not really spotted any uh, plants in the wild yet lately, have I? You would think it'd be a needle in the haystack whenever I go into like a giant open field, but I'm actually so much more likely to find them in open fields than in the city. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because they're so much more rare in the city or if it's just because there's so much more visual da data to parse when you're in these areas. Because it very much could be that. I think it's just a lot for me to process in these situations. Whereas when I'm in an open field, it's like a... There's a lot of plants, so you'd think that'd be how they'd be hard to find, but I think to some extent there's a monotony to the plants. So anything that stands out Stands out a bit more. Admittedly, I also have a clear line of sight in those areas, and I, I've, I've noticed that with like the darkness and the fog, there's a certain aspect of like the darkness and fog themselves kind of distort around the plants in the distance, almost like a, like like an aliasing problem, or almost even like a, the way that shadows can look weird in games like Mass Effect One, where shadows just act bizarre. That kind of behaves a bit. I know how celestial bodies work. I know the logic of numbers. Yes, Mom. Solid bodies drown in water. It's a law. Life breaks into particles and is reborn again. It is a law. 
Do you see now how many mysteries the Earth holds? The more terrifying the mystery, the deeper it lies, and the fewer wells can reach them. You can trick anyone, anyone but me, the emissary of the powers that be. I know how this world had been built. I know how its life works. I know the laws it operates under. It's supposed to be very simple and proportional. True, true, ma'am. That's what it's supposed to be. True. True, ma. That is what it's supposed to be. So let it be. It's not the end of the world. It's just an epidemic. It's gone out of proportion. The law will prevail. I'll restore the balance. Not all is lost. I know where the root of this evil lies. Hmm. She definitely takes central stage in this whole part. Everyone's bowing to her, she's being reassuring, and so on. She, she starts with a display of power, wiping out everyone that's in her way. And then, she, then there's the reassurance. This is not the end. We will rise past this. But it has everyone kind of catering to her as a result. Where you at? Oh, music calm down. That's half a thousand right there, goddamn. This is admittedly a bit more entertaining to do than the other methods of farming too. Cause I... Doing like really basic, like, level clearing. I get to be methodical. Oh. Okay. Back door of the same building. Yeah, this is a layout I've never done before. This is new for me. Veggies! Just getting straight up food, just as a surprise. That's always a good surprise. Weird, isn't it, thinking that I just didn't do this the entire first campaign? It just wasn't necessary. The Bachelor was doing just fine, honestly. Ah! Man, you should really think double, you know, just think twice about the whole charging the guy with the gun thing. So that, if they're gonna drop me that much, that's good. Oh wow, this is a big old top floor, isn't it? Like they dropped me enough to buy the bullet that I used to shoot them in the first place, basically. Let alone the additional profits. Any drugs I can find that I can resell. Oh, so that's just straight up bread. God damn. Yeah, this is the <laughs> this is the smartest choice. Just join the looters, basically. Oh boy. Not a lot of money from the house itself, but just a smattering of miscellaneous objects that are gonna help me out. And every single thing has a pretty good chance of having something in it. Wow, these, uh... These buildings are dense with containers. Probably should be expected, the people that live by the theater are probably richer. It is immoral. Uh... If they were dead, I'd feel less bad about it.
but I'm not convinced that people in plague districts are dead necessarily. They may have evacuated, although there really isn't any indication of evacuation. I'm not really sure what to think. There's not much. There's not much sign of evacuation, and uh, narratively, everyone's told to stay indoors, not evacuate. So I don't really know if anyone's evacuating. But yeah, it's uh, it's about 5 a.m. Got got about three more hours, uh, two more hours to kill before stuff continues. So just imagine what you just saw, but more. I'm gonna just loop for a bit. Welcome back. So it's been a little while. I, I'm actually in the middle of a house right now, but I, I panic paused and started recording because it hit 7 o'clock. And I think that means that we're going to get the message soon. You know, today is, every day has a little message where they say the thing about today and stuff like that. So everything you saw up until now is not canon. Uh, I had to redo everything. Uh, those rifle rounds were useless to me with my shotgun, which makes sense when I say it like that. But I swear they said when they gave me that thing that this can work with either rifle rounds or shotgun rounds, which I always thought was weird. And I could have sworn I verified that at some point. I was like, wow, it really does. But uh, whatever happened, maybe I swapped it out. Maybe there was two identical ones where one was special and one wasn't. And I accidentally sold the special one or something. I have no idea, honestly. Or maybe my entire confirmation of it working that way was imaginary in itself. Either way, uh, all those rifle rounds I, I bought were useless. So I had to go, I had to restart the day. Or just, or just not do anything, I guess, because I was going to be out of time if I didn't restart the day. Uh, I bought a rifle from Bad Grief this time with all that ammo. And so now I've been using a rifle. Uh, so I did not buy those tourniquets because the rifle cost about as much. So that's where we are now. The morning of the eighth day has come. In less than five days, it ends. Day eight, in which the Harspex gets the idea of who he, who was marked by the secret sign, may be. That's an awkward sentence to read. There we go. Man, these guys are tricky. It's a lot- it is harder to kill these guys with a rifle. Uh, by and large, I get them in one shot if I'm lucky, but it's, it's a little more finicky to nail the shot than it is with, uh, the shotgun. I also finally migrated to an SSD. Uh, it doesn't actually affect a lot of the loading times. Uh, at least when I load the game up originally and stuff like that, uh, it seems to- it seems like the loading time is largely de uh, determined by the engine it itself, as opposed to any of my actual speeds on my computer. But anyway, it's now 7 o'clock in the morning, which means it's now time for us to start the day, more or less. I should be getting letters, probably. 58% durability. Not bad. I still have 11 rounds left. I'm up to 32,000. I got this. Repellent cape. It makes you... Yeah, pro uh, moderate protection from fire, and it's believed to, that the muted coloring of the cape makes it the wearer difficult to target with firearms. So that's a nice one to just find. That's a valuable item. And I have 32 grand, but I also got all these drugs that are new since I could have because I've been selling them along the way. But I already have even more. So been busy, and we have a whole bunch of organs like usual. Got my letter. Let's go back to yesterday's letters though. Let's see. Try to figure out where we go from there. So let's see. Yeah, first we got a letter from Capella, which seemed to be from Vlad, but we, I can't tell if it's a typo or not. Then we got the other letter from Vlad, where I was like, okay, he's contacting me anyway, what's going on? After that, we have a Glia Lilich. I'm not sure if we read this one yet. Your visit to the foreman has drawn me towards a fascinating conclusion. The blood is still warm, is it not? It seems alive, as though it was extracted moments ago. However, the blood we're speaking about belongs to a bull that was slaughtered the day before. Foreman Oyen has... has travestied the ritual. Why don't you ask him where the blood comes from next time you see him? P.S. Lend your ear to the bachelor, if you please. He acts in accordance to my instructions, and I consider him worthy of my trust. He will help you finish what you've started, provided you require any assistance. P.P.S. You guys are really out of control with this stuff after the letter thing. I got wind of your forthcoming appointment as the new leader of the kin, who will establish the new order in town. This is a reasonable, subtle solution that I am very likely to welcome. The time of the three families has passed. We need to talk about- we need to think about the future. Am I making sense to you? Aglaya Lilich. Isidore Burke's diary is extract from the challenge for Foreman Oyen. The kin are dangerously close to rebellion. The beasts anticipate the catastrophe. Fifty-eight brown bulls had had to be slaughtered because of this. I am going to challenge the foreman. Rising against the order is a crime. 
but it is twice as criminal for me to keep avoiding any lines. Oyen should not be allowed to rule the kin any longer. This helmsman was unable to pilot the ship in calm waters. Many a squall was risen because of his ineptitude. In a storm like this, he will drown us all. I'm going to let him know of what I have deciphered. I would what I've decided, and then I will go to the step to hear what the sweary fields have to tell me. I hope that while I am talking to Bodo, Oyen will acknowledge the truth of my way and will speak to Boss Vlad of the necessary changes. He will have to vacate the stones for me by the time I am back, otherwise the kin will rebel. Why isn't my son by my side yet? Where are you, my boy? Who other than you will offer me a hand in these times of horror? So most of the previous entries were like his medical notes, but this is actually like maybe his last diary before he died. I mean, my first guess here is that Oyun didn't want to vacate his power, so he probably killed Isidore. And he's probably the one who murdered Isidore ultimately, not some mystical beast. Maybe he dressed up in a costume or something. Because Isidore was presumably stabbed, not killed by the disease. Even though the disease also is an ongoing thing. The Bachelor's Invitation. I have found out that the kind of medium that may allow our bacteria to flourish is most likely below the ground. The local hearsay has led me to believe that the most intense interaction between human beings and the Earth takes place in the abattoir. According to the Inquisitor, you are the only person who is allowed to enter the abattoir unhindered. If this is the case, I urge you to contact me as soon as possible. The importance of the matter should not be underestimated. Bachelor Dankowski. Yes, I am worried by Aglaya Lilich's behavior of late. She was asking me of your whereabouts. It is clear that she wants to talk to you, but for some reason she would not, rather not make an official request of your attendance. This is suspicious. You may want to be doubly careful these days. Hmm. So I'm going to go talk to the Bachelor, but maybe Lilich in addition? We're already in the last five days. That feels wrong and weird. The timing's crazy. But yeah, I got protection from infection, fire, bullets, and and melee attacks to some extent. And my meters are largely doing a bit A-OK. -okay. So I got that going for me. Time to go outside. It's good to be rich. Let's go to the medical place. Yeah, my, uh... I'm not used to be ju to just swimming in resources the way you do when you play as the Hera Specs. It's a trip. I... Really, the, the, in some ways, yeah, the primary balance being placed on me is the fact that they limit what I can carry at all. Why is it always tourniquets? They're so bad. Oh well. Let's get rid of my... I really hope a quest doesn't ask for them again. That would be really unfortunate. But I'm largely trying to sell them to make my money. Seems like a good balance. I'm definitely going to wear that repellent cape. It's just good all around, so I should get rid of the other one, probably. There's the one. That'll make me some money. I'm definitely keeping my plague my plague reduction ones. Yeah, that's an immunity booster. It just looks like the other pills, so I, I lose it in the shuffle sometimes. Another four grand for me. Cool. Food's all good for me. I guess let's just let's go all in. It's like ten grand, which is unfortunate, but I could do with a bunch of healing items. What's the point of making all this money if I don't use it right? Obviously, the concern being that any drugs I sell might have a quest asking for them, and any money I spend might be countered by me getting a quest where I have to spend money. Because the game is... The game does stuff like that just enough for me to be worried. Even if that just enough is like one instance. <laughs> like the day where the Bachelor had to spend like 60,000 gold in order to save a bunch of people. Or when I had to scramble to get like 12 rifles or... These other things. That's a lot of these. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I have 50 value worth of stuff right now. Damn. <laughs> Alright. Oh, let's keep the combustible fluid in my inventory because I tend to actually... Uh, get more of that during the day. Alright, uh, two smoked meat, two dried meat, 
two fresh meat and a rifle ammo. A lot of meat. I didn't drop any, did I? Meat, meat, meat. Yeah, they all fit in my inventory. Wow, I have a lot of that stuff. Ah. The amount of numbers I have on this character is freaking me out. <laughs> Everything's wrong. I think... It's weird trying to think about why being in a good place feels like a bad thing in a video game. Hi, asshole. <laughs> yeah, thanks music for just chiming in there. Ooh, more drugs to sell. <laughs> and an extra knife. Hey, sir, do you have things to sell? I have three. <laughs> it's probably not enough, no. I'm like, I just got this new claw I should try using. I do like to think that, like, that's just woefully... Those are just woefully unpopular individuals. That's why, that's why they'll ha that they'll be murdered, like, ten feet away from one of their own allies. God damn it. It really does bother me when that happens. Immunity is not amazing. Still not infected. On top of having all these resources, I'm just literally not infected. That trips me out like crazy. It's day eight, and I am straight up not infected as the Harrispex. I could even keep pillaging these houses if I wanted to. I have the ammo. I just want to take care of the daily quests. But I can go right back to pillaging the moment it's over if I want to. As weird as that sounds. Uh, empty bottle. It's probably better to get rid of. Just one bottle, at least. I hope I find kids. Bandages? Nope. Bandages, hold my legs and my arms from you. Bandages, bandages, bandages. Got a spare knife to sell. Oh, more money. No bandages. Where are the kids at? I gotta offload my watches. I'll, ne I'll never like the inventory limitation. Regardless of how it might serve for purpose, it's definitely frustrating endlessly to have... just to keep running out of space on stuff. Although my inventories are all way more full than normal as this character. Like, look at these things. Clothes is pretty empty, but that's that's a really expensive inventory tab, to be fair. But yeah, this is a what is crowded ass inventory. Now? Changeling left the abattoir unscathed. What's going on? You have made quite an impression on the emissary of the powers that be. Congratulations. Keep doing that, and soon there'll be no menacing inquisitor in town. Only a gentle Aglaya Lilich. The bad news is. She can see that, too. She'll be reluctant to meet you again, I'm afraid. Hmm. It's really weird to keep talking about how we've interacted with the powers that be now that we know that I'm- At least I'm pretty sure we know that the powers that be are the kids that are playing the game, that, that are running the simulation itself, basically. The idea that we've impressed them is weird because they control us. I don't know. What do you mean? Executors have told me that she was furious to learn of your discovery. She had her reasons, and she was quite intent on destroying you when you came to her. But she was so impressed by your dignified demeanor that she's had a change of heart. What did you tell her that touched her so much? We talked about freedom. All right, then. I'd like to ask for your help, Burke. You are well aware that my business here is not complete yet, and now the Inquisitor has commissioned me to look for the source... She gave me a push in the right direction, as she did to you. Yet I'm stuck. It really bothers me that he's- we call o him Oinen, because it's a title of- of respect of some sort, or of intelligence. But then the other guy's name is Oyen. Like, almost the same name. It's just confusing. Are my ears playing tricks on me? The Oinen- the Oinon is stuck? I'm analyzing the soil. The results aren't great, but I found something. There may be a paradox, the tectonic bed under their settlement. I need to know what its structure is like. 
I've heard that the abattoir is, is rooted deeply into the ground. Tell me, do the people who live inside of it know what's below? What do you want from me? You are allowed inside, aren't you? Go ask them. Find out what's down there. And if the source of the disease is indeed below, we'll overthrow this behemoth with armed force. The army will be here tomorrow. Oh wow, we're at that point already, huh? It's already time for the, the three days of the army to come in. Ah, oh, it feels weird. That means I can say goodbye to trading these resources with the guards. You're wrong, Oy Oynan. Wherever did this theory of yours come from? Aglaya Lilich has a rather eloquent theory of how it all works. It's a shame you can't talk to her, really. Oh well. Nothing is impossible, Oynan. Yes. What can it be down there? The depths of Bodo no hold no ill, Oynan. Do they hold no ill, though? We went into that one scary place where fucked up things was happening. Ah. Yep, you're still alive. My bedroom. And you have no dialogue. I'm so curious about you being alive still. The army arrives tomorrow, and Eva Jan still lives. That's a weird... That's a weird world state to have. 